In this video, we will discuss the 10 houses that believes to be the oldest houses in the world. Where and when they began to exist, who is the owner, and also, who is the architect or designer behind the architectural features of the structure. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more videos to come. Let's start. The first, on the list, we have the, Knapp of Hower. Knapp of Hower is located at Scotland of United Kingdom, around 3700 to 2800 BC. Knapp of Hower is situated on the island of Papa Westray, in Orkney of Scotland, and is believed to have been built around 3500 BC. Knapp of Hower was a stone-built settlement, belonged to the Neolithic, or New Stone Age, the said settlement was a farmstead, which might be the oldest established stone house in Northern Europe. As per sources, radiocarbon dating shows that it was involved from 3700 BC to 2800 BC, older than Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids. The farmstead, comprises of two nearby adjusted rectangular thick-walled structures, with exceptionally low entryways confronting the ocean. The larger and more ancient structure, is connected by a low walkway to the next structure, which has been deciphered as a workshop, or a subsequent house. Archaeologists are of the assessment, that the midden material that encompasses the joint structures have shielded them from serious harm. The inside of these joint structures is partitioned into three rooms, which are completely made of stone. The wall, despite everything, still stand to an overhang tallness of 1.6 meters, or 5 feet and 3 inches in height, and the stone furniture is unblemishedly, giving a distinctive impression of life in the house. Chimneys, segment screens, beds, and capacity racks are practically unblemished, and also, post openings were found showing the sign of roof structure. Today, the site of Hower, is in the management of an executive agency of the Scottish government. Next, the second, on the list, we have the, Palace of Minnows, at Gnosis. Palace of Minnows is located at Crete of Greece, around 1700 BC. The Palace of Minnows is spread across five and a half acres of land in Crete, and is said to have been built around 1700 BC. The structure, has a total inhabited area of approximately 14,000 square meters or 1.4 hectares. Situated on Kefala Hill, on the island of Crete in the Mediterranean Sea, off the shoreline of Greece. The Palace of Minnows has belonged to the Bronze Age, and it was the largest archaeological site on Crete, and has been called Europe's oldest city, the site has an approximate total inhabited area of 10 square kilometers or 1,000 hectares. The Gnosis Palace, was the center of social, political, and cultural of the Minoan culture, during the Early and Middle Bronze Age. According to sources, the palace which was isolated into east and west wings, was utilized for about 700 years. The world-class area of the palace, is accepted to have been utilized to watch occasions, occurring in the west wing through a window. It could be contended, notwithstanding, that the east wing was utilized, to contain the royal palace's workshops. The palace, seems to have housed a few sanctuaries, offering to ascend to doubts about whether it was involved by rulers, or ministers or both. Engravings found on the palace were recognized, as the syllabic script that was used for writing Mycenaean Greek, an antiquated type of Greek, as indicated by archaeologists. The palace was abandoned at some unknown time, at the end of the Late Bronze Age, around 1380-1100 BC. Next, the third, on the list, we have the, Villa Almerico Capra, or also known as, Villa La Rotunda. Villa Almerico Capra is located at Veneto of Italy, around 1580. Villa Almerico Capra, is situated on a hilltop, just outside the city of Vicenza, and believed to have been erected began in 1567. The name Capra, derives from the Capra brothers, who completed the structure after it was turned over to them, in 1592. Numerous history specialists accept that Villa Capra, is a lavish villa in Italy. This villa, belonged to the Renaissance age in northern Italy, and it was designed by Italian Renaissance architect, named Andrea Palladio. The villa's design concept, reflected the Renaissance humanism values, demonstrating a conscious revival, and development of certain elements of ancient Greek and Roman thought. 
The Villa Almerico Capra is a symmetrical type of structure, with four projecting porch, was actually inspired by the Pantheon in Rome. Every porch has sculptures of ancient divinities and flanked by a unique window. The villa's principal rooms are all situated on the following floor, or what they call, Piano Nobile. The feature of the inside, is the central has a circular hall, covered by a dome ceiling, and surrounded by a balcony. The original designer architect Palladio, nor the owner didn't see the completion of the structure, as he died in 1580. After his passing, another designer, is accepted to have assumed control, over the development of the villa with some certain changes made to the prior arrangement. Villa Almerico Capra, was perceived and saved as a major aspect of a world legacy site, today, this structure established historical significance, and became one of the tourist attractions, attract more historians and even producers. Next, the fourth, on the list, we have the, Thor Balili, or also known today as Yates Tower. Thor Balili is located at County Galway of Ireland, around 15th to 16th century. Thor Balili, is a fortified castle or tower, accepted to have been designed and developed by the de Burgo family, and believed to have been erected in the 15th or 16th century. Thor Balili, is likewise referred today as Yates Tower, in light of the fact that in 1916 or 1917, William Butler Yates bought the property for the nominal sum of £35, for the reason that he was so charmed with it, and particularly as it was situated in a provincial zone. Thor Balili Castle consists of four stories, with a single room on each floor, associated by a spiral stone stairway, incorporated with the seven-foot thickness of the massive external wall. Each floor of the castle consists of a window, that overlooks the Streamstown River, that flows alongside the castle. Today, because of its vicinity to the Streamstown River, Thor Balili Castle, is dependent upon irregular flooding. This happened remarkably in 1995 and in 2009. In 2009, Thor Balili was widely harmed by flooding. For some time it gave the idea, that because of the budgetary issues of the Irish government, no cash would be accessible to fix it. Thor Balili and the adjoining cottage, were both harmed by a few feet of rising water. Next, the fifth, on the list, we have the, Anne Frank House. Anne Frank House is located at Amsterdam of Netherlands, around 1635. Who can overlook the difficult past scratched, in the diary by Anne Frank, a casualty of the Holocaust. The home that she lived in, before her passing in a Nazi camp, is accepted to be one of the ten oldest houses in the globe. The Anne Frank House, is a writer's home and true-to-life historical center, committed to Jewish wartime diarist Anne Frank. Anne Frank House, is situated on a waterway called the Prinsengracht, near the Westerkirk, in central Amsterdam in the Netherlands. History specialists are of the sentiment that this structure, was developed and erected around 1635, by Dirk van Delft. A little youngster's diary composed during her hideaway from the Germans, by virtue of the Holocaust carried name and notoriety to this structure in Amsterdam, which is accepted to be probably one of the oldest established house in the globe. The building at ground floor comprised of three sections, the front was the merchandise and dispatch entrance, behind it in the center segment were the spice mills, and at the back which was the ground floor of the extension, was where the products were stuffed for dispensation. Furthermore, the structure incorporates a back house, or what they call, secret annex, as it was called in the diary of a young girl, it is the rear extension of the structure that was covered from view, due to the surrounded houses on all four sides of a quadrangle. In addition, the secret annex, features with movable bookcase that covered the entrance to the annex. Anne Frank lived in a secret annex in the home, with her senior sister and guardians before they were secured by Germans and sent to concentration death camps, only Anne's father, Otto Frank, survived the death camps. Next, the sixth, on the list, we have the, Blenheim Palace. Blenheim Palace is located at England of United Kingdom, around 1705 to 1722. Blenheim Palace, is a highly significant country house situated in Woodstock, Oxfordshire in England. The said palace, is accepted to have been erected between 1705 and 1722, and it was designed by an English architect, named Sir John Vanbrugh and Nicholas Hawksmoor. 
The palace is named for the 1704 Battle of Blenheim, and consequently at last after Blindheim, or otherwise called Blenheim in Bavaria. Blenheim Palace was the primary residence of the Dukes of Marlborough, and the only non-episcopal and non-royal country house in England to hold the title of palace. Blenheim Palace was perceived as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. The palace, one of the largest houses in England, and it is believed to be one of the ten oldest houses on the globe. The territory of the Blenheim Palace covers around 7 acres or 28,000 square meters in area. The palace was designed and planned in a central rectangular block approach, punctured by two courtyards, these fill in as meager more than light wells. Behind the southern facade of the palace are the primary state apartments, and there are imperial suites for duke and duchess on the east side of the structure. Furthermore, on the west along the whole length of the piano nobile, or second floor, is given a long gallery, initially originate as a picture display, however, is currently now the library. Next, the seventh, on the list, we have the, Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon is located at Northern Virginia of United States, around 1734. Mount Vernon is an American landmark, and previous hacienda of George Washington, the former first president of the United States. As per sources, the said structure was built in phases from approximate year 1734, and it is located on the banks of the Potomac River in Fairfax County of Virginia, close to Alexandria. The current property comprises of 500 acres of land or 200 hectares, the mansion and more than 30 storehouses are arranged close to the riverfront. In spite of the fact that the estate's architect is unknown, the house is accepted to have been designed and built in line with Palladian architecture, under the supervision of Augustine Washington, George Washington's father. The fundamental home has three blocks, the primary block of the estate is a two-story structure, while the remaining two blocks are only one-story structure. Mount Vernon was nominated a National Historic Landmark in 1960, and it was recorded on the National Register of Historic Places. Next, the eighth, on the list, we have the, Monticello. Monticello is located at Virginia of United States, around 1768 to 1772. Monticello was designed and built by an American architect, named Thomas Jefferson, which is also the former third president in the USA, from 1801 to 1809. The said house, located in Albemarle County, near Charlottesville, Virginia of USA, and is believed to have been built began in around 1768. Monticello, is accepted to have been the primary hacienda of Thomas Jefferson, who started planning Monticello subsequent to acquiring land from his dad, at the age of 26. The estate, or hacienda was initially approximate 5,000 acres or 2,000 hectares in area. Arranged on the mountaintop of an 850 feet, or 260 meters high top, in the southwest mountains, south of the Rivanna Gap, the name Monticello acquired from Italian, signifying, Little Mountain. Monticello's designed and planned configuration, was a symmetrical type of structure, utilizing neoclassical architecture, and Palladian design principles characterized by the Italian Renaissance architect, named Andrea Palladio. Thomas Jefferson improved and modified the design, through quite a bit of his administration, to incorporate design features, which is famous in the late 18th century in Europe, and consolidate various thoughts of his own. As indicated by sources, Monticello was built and modified, over a time of 40 years by Jefferson. This structure, features a central hallway, a parallel set of rooms, and has covered porch, towards east and west, while east opens to a great passage lobby, west porch opens to a parlor. Furthermore, the house, also features a terrace, situated towards north and south. Today, Monticello, was preserved and recognized as one of the oldest and historical houses in the world, because of its building architectural features and historic monumental, the property has been entitled a National Historic Landmark, and was also entitled a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. Next, the ninth, on the list, we have the, Mark Twain House. Mark Twain House is located at Connecticut of United States, around 1874. Mark Twain House was designed and built by an American architect, 
named Edward Tuckerman Potter. Furthermore, this designer was most popular for planning the said house in 1871. Mark Twain House is possibly the oldest house in the Connecticut of USA, situated in 351 Farmington Avenue of Hartford, and the said house, was the home of Samuel Langhorne Clemens, or also known by his pen name as, Mark Twain, from 1874 to 1891, including his family. Mark Twain House's designed and planned configuration was an asymmetrical type of structure, using the design principles of Victorian Gothic Revival architecture, characterized by the relatively plain layout, features with trusses on the gables, and decorative shingles, including the common steeply pitched roof. According to legend, Mark Twain House's design configuration was intended to resemble a riverboat. The structure, later operated as an apartment building, a school, and an open library branch. In 1929, it was safeguarded from feasible destruction, and put under the consideration of the recently organized non-profit group, Mark Twain Memorial. In 1962, the structure was proclaimed a National Historic Landmark. In 1974, a rehabilitation exertion prompted it to its being opened as a house gallery. In 2003, a multi-million dollar, lead, insured visitors center was constructed that incorporated a gallery, committed to exhibiting Twain's life and work. Additionally in 2012, the Mark Twain House, was named one of the 10 best historic homes on the world, in a National Geographic Books publication. Next, the 10th, on the list, we have the, Finca Vigia. Finca Vigia is located at Havana of Cuba. Around 1886, Finca Vigia is a Spanish word which means, lookout farm, is a house designed and built by Spanish architect named, Miguel Pascual y Bagur. In 1886, the said house, is situated in San Francisco de Paula, on a hilltop around 15 miles or 24 kilometers towards the east of Havana, from the back of the balcony and the neighboring pinnacle, one has a magnificent perspective on downtown Havana. Finca Vigia, is viewed as one of the ten oldest established houses on the globe. The Finca's property at the time, is comprised of 61 hectares or 15 acres, including the farmhouse. The property was once home, to renowned author Ernest Hemingway, he bought the property in 1940, at an estimated cost of $12,500, and lived there until 1960. After Hemingway's death, the Cuban government took the responsibility of the house. In 2007, the house was rehabilitated by the Cuban government and open again to tourists. Today, the structure, is presently a historical center, wherein guests can visit and take a look at the homes insides through windows, nonetheless, they are not permitted to go into specific rooms. That's the end for this topic. Thank you for watching this video, if you like this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more new videos to come about the amazing facts, in the world of arts and architecture.